Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and today we will be discussing Course 1 from Bill Pearl's Complete Chess Development Booklet. This comes from an entire series of books written and published by Bill Pearl and his coach, Leo Stern, in 1963. They contained a series of different workout and specialization programs designed to take even the most novice lifter and turn them into a seasoned veteran of the iron. In this routine, Bill Pearl lists a series of beginner exercises to help the new lifter develop a big and powerful chest. For those who want to purchase this booklet for themselves, please check the link in the description. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular routine, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. For those of you curious, this program can be found on page 16 of Complete Chest Development. As previously alluded to, Course 1 is specifically designed for the novice lifter. All experienced lifters are encouraged to skip this program and start on Course 2. I will preface this by saying Course 2 will not be discussed in this video. For that course, you will actually need to purchase the booklet. Exceptional chest development does not only enhance one's physique, but also increases health and vitality. Large and impressive pectorals are the key to having an elite upper body in the sport of bodybuilding. This was not only true for the silver era of bodybuilding, but the golden era and beyond. A broad rib cage helps correct posture and keeps the organs of the chest and stomach in proper place. The author, Bill Pearl, openly admits that he was not blessed with these elite chest genetics. As such, he has put many hundreds of hours into filling out his upper body. In this way, I believe this makes him even more qualified to discuss this topic. For the most effective results, use the following chest specialization program in combination with Mr. Pearl's full body routine found in Building Bulk and Power. I may or may not discuss this in a future video. If you would like to see Course 1 from Building Bulk and Power, leave it in the comment section below. Full body programs that contain the breathing squat and pullover combination are the key to broaden the rib cage. This element is arguably more important than the muscular development itself. It is especially true for those who intend to build a silver era physique. The rib cage is the literal foundation where the muscle lies and as such must be built up. Let us now discuss this routine in a bit more detail. This course is very simple overall and does not contain all that many exercises. You will follow this course for roughly six weeks and perform three workouts a week following this routine. It begins with the medium grip push-up on the floor for two sets of between 5 and 15 reps. Then you will perform bent arm laterals for two sets of between 8 and 10 reps. The third exercise is straight arm dumbbell pullover for two sets of between 8 and 10 reps. And to finish this off, you will do medium grip barbell bench press for two sets of between 8 and 15 reps. Now I will demonstrate the exercises for you. Now the first exercise is the body weight medium grip push up on the floor. You will begin this exercise by placing your hands on the ground roughly 24 inches apart. Your feet will be placed on the ground behind you and you will be raised up on your toes. Your back into your legs should be completely straight. Your body should not be rounded in any way. While you keep your body rigid, you will lower yourself to the down position. Bill Pearl mentions earlier in this booklet it is vital to make sure you are going through the entire range of motion. So I am actually touching my chest to the ground, pausing ever so briefly, and then pressing back up very slowly. You will inhale as you lower yourself, and exhale while returning to the starting position. Now we are on to one of my personal favorites, the bent arm lateral. We would know this now as the chest fly, or the pec fly. You will begin this exercise by lying on a flat bench with a dumbbell in each hand, raised above your chest. Your palms will be turned inwards, and to perform the exercise, you will lower the dumbbells in an arc-like fashion, as this video shows, and make sure to have your elbows pulled back 
and almost in line with your ears. Also make sure that your forearms are slightly beyond the vertical position. Then you will press back up in the same arc-like fashion, and that is the completion of the bent arm lateral. Make sure you are breathing in the beginning of the exercise while going down, and you will exhale as you are pressing back to the top. The third exercise on this list is the straight arm dumbbell pullover. Now, of course, this exercise does hit the pectoralis and lats, but the main goal here is to help expand the rib cage and stretch out the cartilage in the center of the ribs. To perform this exercise, you will lie on a flat bench with your hands placed in the innermost portion of a dumbbell. Then, you will take a deep breath before lowering the dumbbell around your head in a semicircular pattern, making sure to keep your elbows as straight as possible. Now, once you get to that lowermost portion, it's almost impossible to keep your arms completely straight there, so a slight bend in the elbows is acceptable. You also want to make sure that there's no discomfort in your shoulders. If you're feeling any discomfort, don't go that low or perhaps lighten the weight. Then once at the bottom most position, you will exhale as you return to the starting position. Make sure to keep your head down and your chest high and breathe deeply and forcibly. You want a lot of oxygen in your lungs for this exercise. The final exercise listed here is the medium grip barbell bench press. You will begin by loading a barbell with a moderate amount of weight and position yourself underneath the bar. Then you will unrack the bar, making sure your hands are in total roughly 6 inches wider than your shoulder width. Then you will lower the barbell down slowly and in a controlled fashion until it touches your chest roughly 1 inch below your pec line. You will pause for a brief second before pressing the barbell back to the starting position. Make sure that you inhale when the barbell is lowered and exhale when the barbell is pressed back up. You do not want to relax at any point during the lift and you also want to make sure you are in complete control. Make sure that you have all contact points on the bench so do not lift your butt off the bench, do not lift your head off the bench and make sure to press each rep very slowly and controlled. And that is all I have for you today. This is Bill Pearl's course one for chest specialization. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of these exercises or the program itself, or if you have any recommendations about any future video ideas, especially if you want to see anything from Bill Pearl, because he is my absolute favorite, please do leave them in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.